Rhonda, this could very well be the most dangerous chemical leak that our nation has ever seen, and it's happening right now behind me in the Benson building on BYU campus. Hours ago, students and teachers began reporting claims of toxic fumes in this building. Now, hours later, more than 10 students have been life flighted to a Salt Lake hospital, and more than 18 are in critical condition. Our sources say investigators are identifying ricin as a potential cause. Police say that accidental exposure to ricin is extremely unlikely and has been used before in biological warfare. Our lead medical expert is on hand to tell us what would happen if indeed the chemical turns out to be ricin. Dr. Pratt? Well, Kristen, ho hospital experts say that ricin poisoning experiences symptoms of high fever, coughing, vomiting, and respiratory distress. If they'll have to monitor the amount of ricin received because the amount the size of a pinhead is enough to kill an average adult. The good news is ricin poisoning is not contagious. Thank you, Dr. Pratt. Evacuations are continuing to occur around the building surrounding the Benson. No one's allowed closer than 300 feet to the building, which is about where I'm standing right now. Federal investigators just arrived on scene and will have more information to you as it comes. Rhonda, back to you. Rhonda, students are coming out of their class right now really confused. Just after 1230 this afternoon, 200 students have been evacuated from the Ezra Taft Benson building, this building right here behind me, because of a possible chemical leak. Now they say that 21 students and two professors are in serious condition and 18 students are in critical condition. 10 have already been life flighted to the University of Utah Hospital. And just as precautions, they also set up a triage here in front of the Joseph Smith building for those students who have less serious injuries. 35 students are currently being treated right now. Now, investigators are looking into the cause of the chemical leak. They are looking into a chemical called ricin, which comes from castor beans and can be hazardous if inhaled or ingested in any way. As for the reporters and bystanders, they're making a state 300 feet away from any of the buildings. This building right over here, the Iring building and also the Joseph Smith building have already been evacuated. So students are coming out of their classes. They're wondering when these buildings are going to be reopened, but police say at this point they just don't know, but we'll keep that information coming to you as we receive it. Live from BYU campus, I'm Lauren Frankham. Rhonda? Hi, Rhonda. I'm here on the south end of the BYU campus where a serious chemical leak happened just a few hours ago at the Ezra Taft Benson building. Hazmat investigators are telling us they don't know the source of the leak or what toxic chemical was released during it. However, officials are telling us that 23 patients have been seriously injured from the leak. Of those, 21 are students and two are professors. Also, 10 people have that were seriously injured have been life flighted to Salt Lake City hospitals to be treated for their condition. Also behind us in the Joseph Smith building, there's a triage unit set up for 35 students who have more minor injuries. Now, if you're experiencing vomiting, coughing, or a high fever, you may want to come check into the triage unit or a medical center nearby you to make sure that the leak didn't affect you. Also, university also, university officials are telling us that the, ben the Benson Building, Iring Center, and the Nichols Building are closed and classes in the suspended until further notice. And federal investigators just arrived on scene, so we'll have an update with you later. Back to you, Rhonda. Rhonda, you said that this situation is extremely serious and there really is no other way to describe it. Three buildings have been shut down and 10 individuals have been life flighted to hospitals. This is because of a chemical leak. The chemical leak occurred around 1230 this afternoon in the Benson building, which is the building you see just behind me. Now, the source of the leak is unknown, but you can see hazmat officials coming in and out of the building trying to figure out where this leak came from. After the leak was discovered, 200 students were evacuated from the Benson building and teachers left as well. Out of those students and teachers, 23 are seriously injured. And I mentioned earlier that 10 of them have been life flighted to hospitals. Now, medical officials have told me that some of the symptoms of those injured include vomiting, coughing, a respiratory disease. As an additional precaution, other buildings have been closed down as well. Those buildings include the Iring Science Center and the Nichols Building, which is just south of the Benson Building. Now, Rhonda, it has not been said how long this investigation will incur, occur or how long these buildings will stay closed. Stay with us throughout the day and we will give you more updates as we get them. Back to you. Rhonda, at the Ezra Taft Benson Science Building, chemicals are leaking and it just started about 
30 minutes ago and now over 200 students are evacuating from the building and reporters are being kept at least three feet away from the building so this is the closest that we can get and the investigators investigators say the toxic fumes from an unknown source has injured 23 people and 18 of them are in critical condition and 10 have been life flighted to Salt Lake hospitals and the others in Utah County hospitals and a hospital spokesman says the patients are experiencing a range of symptoms including high fever and coughing and university officials say the the classes in the three three buildings evacuated will, will be suspended. And we still don't know how long the investigation will continue or how long the buildings will be shut down, but we'll let you know as soon as we get more information. Rhonda, back to you. Rhonda, campus is in chaos. A chemical leak caused the evacuation of 200 students and a few professors from the Benson building right behind me. They are now being treated just across the way in the Joseph Smith building for their symptoms. Yet 18 of them are still in critical condition and are being treated in hospitals across the state. And 10 of them were even life flighted to hospitals in Salt Lake City. A hospital spokesperson just let me know that their symptoms include coughing and vomiting. The Associated Press is reporting that investigators are now looking into ricin as the chemical to blame. Now, ricin is extremely dangerous, a chemistry professor on campus just told me, because you can obtain it and grow it in your home. I'll be speaking with the public information officer soon about that chemical and those who are still in critical condition and whether or not classes will resume on campus today. We'll have that information for you in our 5 o'clock newscast. Back to you. Rhonda, just a few moments ago, a chemical leak in the Benson building seriously injured about 23 people. Two of them are professors and 21 of them are students. 18 have been life flighted to the hot local area hospitals and are right now in critical condition. Now, about 35 other students are suffering from minor injuries from this leak and are being treated right over here in the Joseph Smith building where the hospital has set up a triage unit. Now, I spoke with a hospital spokesperson who says that the symptoms include vomiting, coughing, and shortness of breath. And they say if you've been in the Benson building the last little bit, to contact them immediately. Now while this investigation is underway, they've also, the school has also canceled classes over here in the I-Ring Science Building as a precaution, and they've evacuated that building too. Uh, the Nichols Building, right behind the Benson Building, has also been evacuated, and classes will not be held at this time. Now, there's no indication yet as to what the cause of this leak is, what the source of it is, but initial reports indicate that investigators are looking into the chemical ricin. Now, ricin is a chemical that has been involved in a lot of notable cases in the United States, including the powder lace envelope sent to the White House in 2003. Now, we will be here all day and be getting updates as we receive them, and we'll bring you the story as we get it. Rhonda, back to you.